Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by today. Well, today I am going to um, participate in Junk Journal July. I just actually decided today that I want to do it. <laughs> I only discovered it a few days ago. I've heard of um, Junk Journal January, but I didn't know about Junk Journal July until just the last few days. And then I was questioning, because I have to be gone so much this week. And I thought, well, I don't know if I can even do it. I don't know if I'll have time and all this stuff. And finally, I decided, just do what I can, because I think I'll enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to do. So today is the first day, and I'm going to um, put this together all the way, finish it. I was looking on my computer, because I did not remember to... Um, figure out whose printables I used and I'm not finding it so anyway I um, decided to do a paper bag album because I could do that very very quickly and have it done and be able to go ahead on with it so I used a pink bag because it seems like pink is kind of a color this year kind of a color this year <laughs> and um, I'll have to do something about that writing if that's okay when you bring this pink bag to my sale you will receive a percentage off that's cool so then I have a um, printable that looks like this paper and so I just printed on both sides and got enough to I think I have 32 pages in here two four six eight ten twelve there was two there fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four 26, 28, 30, 32, yeah. And it made a difference because it decides if I'm going to put this here or here, which I'm going to put there. But first we're going to decorate the cover. And I've got everything picked out. I don't have it inked up though. So I guess we'll have to do that real quick. I wasn't thinking about that. Okay, there's my... There it is. <laughs> so these are all just, I think these dies, these, um, this stuff is from a Hobby Lobby pack or two Hobby Lobby packs. I, they're not Tim Holtz. I think they're Hobby Lobby. Although, wait, that might be, I'm not sure. It's either Tim Holtz or Hobby Lobby. Pretty sure everything is Hobby Lobby, except I'm not sure about that one. I know I've been hanging on to this for a while because I really like it. But it doesn't do any good to hang on to it. I'm gonna kind of make it look a little more grunge in some places than others. Okay. So this is going to go down here. And as I was pulling other things, I saw this that I had, and I kind of think I want to put it along the edge. So I think we'll do that. Um, let me figure out where I need to cut it. I want to try to cut it just so I don't lose any of it. that along the edge and I think I will use my well my hot glue gun is not heated up because I looked over and I had accidentally unplugged it. So we'll just use the Fabri-Tac. Looks pretty. 
Okay, and I think that is enough. I don't, I don't think I need another layer under it. It's not going to work over there. I rearranged my desk today and I wasn't thinking when I put my glue over there. I didn't, I just rearranged it a little bit. I was mainly just taking everything off my desk and washing underneath it and wiping everything down. Okay, so then I have this that I thought would, put, would go down here. And I might make it so that I have to cut some of it off. And I'm going to have this right here. And I thought we would put, I felt like two things. I thought we would put that right there. So I like how that looks. Just simple. Done. <laughs> adhesive on the back because I have a book that I put all my dyes in. I put just a little bit of the removable adhesive on it on each piece and stick them in there and then I can just um, look through the book to find my die cuts and it works fabulous. here then for I don't know I have this paper that I thought would look really pretty under it I need to ink around it first I need to give it some serious inking so I'm going to do this I'm going to get my brush out Are you, any of you doing junk journal July? If you are, please comment and let me know because I will come watch your videos. It might take me a little while, but especially this week. Crazy week. Okay, so I could, I have extra of that paper. Let me get one. I could put that between it. I think I will. Okay, so let's, um, this on here. And this is actually a wedding from a wedding collection. <laughs> okay, and that. Oops, I'm not really able to see the outside. Well, let's cut it down that way so far. Yep, that's 
good. All right, let's ink around it. I gotta get a drink real quick. Sorry. My throat is really hurting, and I don't know why. I'm trying to get all these old scraps of stuff out of the way. I feel closed in on my desk because I've got my scrap tray beside me so that I can um, look through it to do the collage. And it takes up a lot of room on my desk. Okay. So we'll glue this down. Going over a little bit on each edge. That's not too bad now. I just gotta trim it on this side right here, which could be fun because I don't want to trim off the pretty part of the bag there. I guess it goes over a little bit up here. But I can't see it when I do that. I think it's fine. I can only see it when I take this bag like that and look at it. Okay, so then I want to take this. Well, that was awful close to my glue gun and it is hot. <laughs> and put this on here. And you know, I was thinking I would use my perfect layers tools or whatever they are, but I think I'm going to use my deco edge trimmer on it. So this week I'll get a bit behind on this. I will because um, I'm going to be gone three days this week. I'll be gone tomorrow and Thursday, and I'll get home late Friday. So, and so far, that's all. <laughs> but my daughter is having surgery, and so I don't know. You know, we think we'll be home Friday. But, you know, if she has to have help with the kids, then so be it. This will all be here. <laughs> so it all depends on how it goes. Okay. Sure can't tell I line that up in the same spot on my trimmer every time. The top and bottom look wider. That's weird. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And I will try to see if I can figure out who's, um, who's printable this is for y'all. It's very pretty. I just keep thinking, where do I get it? I can't even get my... I've got things moved around and my thing doesn't want to work. But I'm not seeing it when I'm looking at my folders. Huh. I don't know. Oh, do I still have it up? Does it tell me? No. It doesn't. No, I don't know. So, our prompt today is Spark, and the very first thing that came to my mind is a song that we sang at church camp all the time when I was a kid. We would sing it around the campfire. I just got ink all over that, um, and it's called Pass It On, and um, the chorus to it is, it only takes a spark to get a fire going, and soon all those around can warm up to its glowing. That's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it, 
you spread his love to everyone and you want to pass it on. So, I don't think you spread his love to everyone is what we say. I'm just singing in my head, I don't know. But I always just loved this song. And uh, a couple weeks ago at church we sang it and it reminded me of it. And so that was the first thing I thought of when I saw the word spark was this song. So this is going to go on here somewhere. And then the only thing I could find fire was this fireplace. And I found it in this book. Um, science. It's a, book, a school book. I wish I could have found a campfire, but I could not. So I've got that. Maybe I'll put it on this side. But then I've also got... Um, this is a paper pad that I have had for years. I mean years. I got it on clearance. Still kind of see the yellow. Super duper cheap, like two dollars or something. So I found in here a guitar stamp or a guitar sticker, and I want to use that for sure because there was always somebody playing guitar. And then I found this paper, and I thought I would uh, tear some of the music paper for my collage on the back. So, let me do that first. Maybe I don't have to do that. Maybe I just will. I'm going to tear it like this. I'm just going to tear a big piece and then we'll decide. After that. There's like eight sheets of each in there. It's meant to do, it's a craft pack and it's meant, it was meant to do with several kids at a time. So, let's see. Maybe, oops, I need. Mean, some music paper we can put on here. And I love this music paper because it's so tiny. It works great when you're collaging. So um, we will put that there. And let's see, I have this. This is tea bag. Maybe just this little piece right here. And it can... well, so yeah, I think it'll go right there. I don't like how this is really going here. I'm going to take a little bit more off. There, that's better. I think. I don't know. Watch me, I'll tear so much off of this that we'll eventually have to um, just get a whole new sheet. I don't know, we'll leave that there for now and look through here. And this is, I have got um, these baskets, I've got I think seven or eight of them, and they stack. I have a cube shelf here beside me and they stack in one of the cubes and they're just full of my collage papers that I've came up with over the years. <laughs> so, oh, here's a piece of um, dictionary page we could use. Maybe put that along that side, like there. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, we'll do that. And what else do we want? I like this pretty map that I have, and it really goes good. So maybe we will use a bit of it. Oops, I don't want to put that in there. I keep small scraps, but even I'm not going to keep that one. <laughs> this one close because I definitely want to keep the top of this because that's the color I like. Okay. Um, let's see, it needs to go like that. So perhaps 
How did it? It's getting a little bit over on me. Okay, let's start putting some stuff down. Put this down. I want to do some inking though. I'm going to move that over here so I don't run it. And I need to get rid of some of my trash. I don't know where that came from. Hmm, that's weird. Alright, so this we will. I gotta get up here where you can see. here. And then I want to ink this edge of it. Pencil out of the way. Now we will glue this down. Just this. And, um, it could go about right there. I don't want to put that piece down yet because I gotta figure out the rest of this before because that'll go down on top of a lot of it. Some of it I might put on top. We'll see. Let's get these inked up. I'm gonna figure it out. I know this one should go underneath because it's just pretty. It's not really yeah, I just like it. So that one oops, I didn't ink the side of it, I guess. just so much like that one, the way I have it. Um, let's try this. Oh, I moved everything. That over it like that. That maybe oops, look what I'm doing. Exactly what I didn't want to do. So let's move that up here and put this down here. Because I was covering up the whole reason. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this one down right here. And that's pretty easy to figure out. It goes right along the edge of that. So I think I can remember where to put that on. Happy little Sensitive or whatever. <laughs> okay. Now, if I put this about right here, I don't want to cover up all those music notes. I want us to be able to tell. So, maybe right there. And then I'll put this. Maybe I can put that like that. Yep, I like that there. Okay. Ah. 
I used to do this kind of collaging in my Marguerite Miller every week and I got I was a lot um, faster at it then because I did it all the time and now I'm kind of rusty I don't know quite what I'm doing I guess so that's a clue to me that I need to do it every once in a while and I said I was going to this year and I've done it once I, I've done this kind of collage once in my margarita <laughs> Okay, so then we have our song, and we have our fireplace, which I'm not sure, maybe, put it more, I don't have to show all of that song, I really want to make sure the, um, Oh, what am I trying to say? We can't even see that. Oh, the music paper isn't on there yet. That's why I thought, man, I've totally covered up the music paper. Let's go ahead and put it on. I thought I was going to have to find more and get it on there. Okay, so... Maybe if I put this kind of like this on here and put this down. Well, I'm going to cover up a lot of that music paper, but that's how it goes. Um, so I want that right there, I think. Okay, and then my guitar. Oh, I think I'll put it right there. Around the edge of it, though. Get that white edge off. Okay. So I think let's put a little bit of glue on it. Because I've had these, this pack. My kids were young and going to church camp when I bought this. Now I got grandkids in church camp, so. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking I should maybe um, stamp spark or something on here. So that it's more obvious what it is. I don't think I put any extra glue on the edge of the guitar. So maybe just stamp spark right here. Yeah, let me get my stamps. I could use, I've still got that stamp set I used the other day out and I like it. Maybe we'll do that one. Got it right here. It looks like the alpha like block stickers that we used to use a lot in scrapbooking. Um, so let's try this. Get the letters out. I think it's easier to do it that way. So I have to. There's S. P. A. R. K. All right. Get my block. And then, oh, I'll start with K, because I want it to go along the edge. And um, what do I want to stamp with? Mm -hmm. Maybe that color? Alright, I'll have to get it. Whoa. Fall on me. Alright, come now. Okay. Or I have 
wonder if this other one I have is a little bit darker in shade. Right here. I have this one. I think. No, I think that's it. Okay, that's the only ones I have in that shade. Um, this one's probably going to be better, isn't it? This one. This is Ocean and it's uh, close to my heart and it's old. <laughs> but you know what? They last. These things last. I don't have any reinkers for my close to my heart and they all are doing great. And it's, I'm talking probably 10 years <laughs> that I've had these things. Maybe longer. I haven't went to Stamp Club in a long time. I was like, I need a P, but no, I need an R. I could tell when I looked down at it that it didn't have ink on it. put a bit, little bit of ink around the edge of my pages, my page, because I decided I would do that with each page instead of sit there and go through each page and do them all in the beginning. I thought I can just get that done when I'm done with each page. Oops, I need to cut a little bit off on this right here. Okay, there's something up here. Something up here is sticking over. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Now, oops. And I like the map because kids come from all over, you know, to go to church camp. And the one that I remember the most singing at it was a good three and a half hours from my house. I went to two every summer. So, I think this might be good. It's kind of, you know, bland for my first one, but I said yesterday in my videos that we're having a rough week here and there's a lot of things going on at our house. And just not feeling totally inspired, but I'm not going to give up either. So, um, that's crooked, but it's going to stay crooked. <laughs> or it may be the crooked, how the, you know, the fire is like that, that's making it look that way, but I don't think it is. So there you go. Thank you for joining me. You have a blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.